Hi, this is the continuation of a series of videos designed to give individuals information that they can use to prepare for a visit to a physician. The videos are designed to help ensure that the individual can ask appropriate questions of the physician and to increase the likelihood that quality care will be obtained. Hepatitis A and Hepatitis A vaccine are our topic. Hepatitis A is a serious liver disease. It is caused by the Hepatitis A virus. It is spread from person to person through contact with feces of people who are infected, which can easily happen if someone does not wash his or her hands properly. You can also get hepatitis A from food, water, or objects contaminated with hepatitis A virus. Hepatitis A can cause liver failure and death, although this is rare. Hepatitis A is the commonest cause of hepatitis. It causes approximately a third of clinically apparent hepatitis. Again, it arises from the ingestion of contaminated food and water. There is no carrier state and it does not cause chronic liver disease. The clinical features are anorexia, nausea and vomiting, fatigue, headache, mild fever, upper abdominal discomfort, jaundice, but many people with hepatitis A do not develop jaundice, dark urine, pale stools, an enlarged liver. Now recovery from hepatitis A usually takes three to six weeks. Most people with hepatitis A infections make a complete recovery, but some people can be ill for as long as six months. And occasionally if you have hepatitis A, you may be too weak, too ill to work. Children often do not have symptoms but adults usually do. Treatment is supportive. Prevention is critical. Prevention can be done with simple health measures such as good sanitation, effective garbage disposal, hand washing, and vaccination. Hepatitis A vaccine can prevent hepatitis A. Hepatitis A vaccines began being recommended in the United States beginning in 1996. Since then, the number of cases reported each year in the U.S. has dropped from around 31,000 cases to fewer than 1,500 cases. So vaccination works. You will need two doses of the vaccine for long-lasting protection. These doses should be given at least six months apart. Children are routinely vaccinated between their first and second birthdays, the 12th through 23rd months of age. Older children and adolescents can get the vaccine after 23 months of age also. Adults who have not been vaccinated previously and want to be protected against hepatitis A can also get the vaccine. You should get hepatitis A vaccine if you are traveling to countries where hepatitis A is common, or a man who has sex with other men, if you use illegal drugs, if you have a chronic liver disease such as hepatitis B or hepatitis C, or are being treated with clotting factor concentrates, or if you work with hepatitis A infected animals or in a hepatitis A research laboratory, or if you expect to have close personal contact with an international adoptee from a country where hepatitis A is common. Ask your healthcare provider if you want more information about any of these groups. Now there are no known risks to getting hepatitis A vaccine at the same time as other vaccines. Some people should not get this vaccine. If you have any severe life-threatening allergies to the components of the vaccine, you should not get them. If you are not feeling well, you should defer receiving the vaccine. 
You should probably wait until you recover. Your doctor can advise you on this. So there is a vaccine for hepatitis A, as there is a vaccine for hepatitis B. They should be utilized. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.